Yo, what's going on, you guys? Your boy Pony Montana, and today I got a nice special cover four beater for you guys. Um, today we're gonna be coming out of the Oakland Raiders playbook. That's the only place you guys are gonna be able to find this specific play. But the beauty of it is the Oakland Raiders playbook is one of the meta playbooks that you guys could start running. It has a bunch of different formations in it. Literally, every it has it has everything you need. If you guys watched the playbook video that I posted, literally, this is one of the playbooks in it. It's got literally three of the most popular formations of all time in it. Trips, bunch, excuse me, trips, bunch, and bunch tight end. Like, what else do you need? <laughs> but today we're coming out of eye close. We're, we're coming out of eye form close. And before I get into it, if you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to smash that subscribe button, like the video, comment down below, dislike the video. I don't care what you do. Share it. Just let me know you're there. If you if you're part of the notification squad, EMP stand up. Let's get it. Um, today cover four bomb. That is what we're gonna be getting into. Now, if you guys are in I form, you guys are definitely running the ball heavy. You guys are you you guys are just running the ball. As you can see right now, this halfback stretch play out of this specific formation is absolutely bonkers. Nine point one average yards. This is out of my own personal playbook that I run, so I figured I'd bring it to you guys. Now. One way that a lot of people start to guard run like runners, like heavy runners, is they come out and cover four. And that's what I'm going to come out today. And that's why I'm bringing you a cover four beater out of a formation like this. Because not a lot of people run cover four against like bunch or trips tight end or bunch tight end. So most people run cover fours against formations like this I form close. So we're going to come with a cover four bomb. And I took the liberty of putting my fastest receiver, JJ. JJ Nelson and putting him at my number one because that's who you want. You want your fastest guy at this spot right here. Now, obviously, I could have left Antonio Brown, but Antonio Brown's too good of a receiver. And I wanted to see if if I just had like a fast guy, if he could burn the defense as well. And guess what? Absolute, absolutely torches. Now, this is the play stock. Now, sometimes you can run it stock. You might be able to get over the top. He might be there. All right, we end up getting a rack animation, but obviously we don't always want a rack animation. We want a better animation than that if you guys are running this specific play. So what you guys want to do, and it also doesn't matter which hash mark you guys run. You could be on the left, right, middle, down, up, do whatever cheat code you want. But it doesn't matter what hash mark you guys are on. So if you guys are torching them to the left, to the right, you guys can run this cover four meter whenever you, they start to, whenever they start to do this, Oh, man, I'm coming out and cover four, base aligning. Oh, man, I'm going to stop his run real easy. There's no way he's going to run this on me. That's when you start bringing stuff like this out. You, because as soon as they press, that means that you have a, you have the chance to literally torch him. Now, if they're pressing, then literally J.J. Nelson is going to absolutely torch whoever the hell it is that's over there. As you can see, absolute bomb. There's no way that they're getting back there. Touchdown. GG's. This is going to burn it even if they're backed up. Not Obviously not backed up. There's absolutely nothing you could do if they're backed up. Actually, let's try it backed up before I actually, you know, before I put my foot in my mouth and say that. But what you're going to want to do for the specific cover four beater is just put your tight end in a, uh, <clears throat> in a, oh, excuse me, in a curl. And what that does, it brings the safety down. Now, like I said, he backed up, so we weren't able to actually get the pass off. But if they're leaving the play stocked, which if you're coming out in an eye formation, they're not going to back up there. No one is going to see an eye formation and go like this. No one's going to back up their defense in a in a situation like this. They're either going to press or they're going to leave it as is. I actually don't know how to I don't know how to base. I don't know how to get them back to where they were. I, I guess this is back to where they were. So I actually know they're super backed up, but let's see if we could beat them over the top anyway. So all you have to do is literally curl your tight end. And your fullback or running back, you guys can do whatever you guys want. You can put them both on. You can put them both on wheel routes if you want. This kind of looks glitchy. You might be able to get some cool with that. But that's all you're gonna want to do. Step up in the pocket, throw the burner to JJ Nelson, and another rack animation. Um, the rack animation is not always gonna be there, but that's not what we want anyways. So we're gonna do it one more time. Just putting our tight end in a curl. The tight end keeps getting bumped, and I don't like that. This isn't again rack. <laughs> now, if the rack, if the rack animation is all you're getting, you're obviously not going to be too upset about that. But that 
that linebacker keeps bumping him on his route. So we're going to keep on going until that linebacker. He bumped him again. He bumped him again. And we end up getting sacked. All right, let me drop down. He keeps on bumping him. I want it to look perfect, obviously, for the video. So we're going to keep running until it does. Oh, perfect. This is perfect right here. This is exactly what you want to see. Exactly what you want to see. No rack animation. JJ Nelson getting over the top. Now, this works with Antonio Brown as well. Um, but this play works stock, but it is very, very janky. Like, you're not always going to get the cover four beater. But as soon as you add the curl, you want you want the safety to make that that little jerk move right there. Pause. You want the safety to make that little jerk move because he's stopping because that curl route is there. So on top of that, you, you got J.J. Nelson with 96 speed literally able to burn him over the top. All right, let's run it. Let's run it a couple times. Let's run it a couple times, leaving the play stock. Tight end, tight end made a move. Tight end made a move, and no more rack animation. We're literally just burning him over the top. Absolute bomb. Now, also, what you guys can do to kind of help, kind of help distract the pe the person that you're trying to, you know, bomb over the top is motion. Just motion Antonio Brown. Motion your B or or uh, motion your B or your O receiver, depending on which console you're on, just to make them a little more confused. I actually left the route on what it was on, but obviously this play is so hell it literally gets over the top of anything. So let's do that one more time. We're gonna motion over Antonio Brown. We're gonna put our tight end on a curl. We're gonna run the play. An absolute bomb over the top, absolute touchdown. Don't forget, you guys want your fastest receiver on that left side, on that deep post route, like that J.J. Nelson route. Tight, Put your tight end in a curl, and that's all you need to do. You can do whatever you want with Brown or the, your running back or your fullback, and you guys are absolutely good to go for a nice one-play touchdown. Over the top of the defense, absolute burner. Make sure you guys try it out. My name is Pony Montana. As always, if you guys enjoyed the video, drop a like, comment down below, subscribe if you guys are new, and I'll see you guys in another video. As always, two fingers, deuces. Peace out, you guys.